Welcome to Momentum Monday. Today is uh, May 28, 2023. Howard, are you enjoying the bull market in tech stocks? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I think we did a good job of like not being bearish. You know, it's one thing to not catch everything after coming out of what do we got. There's a cues a monthly. If you go look at a weekly, it was a it was a brutal bear market. Um, I can think we can safely say for the moment we have entered some kind of. Uh, I think some people have been bullish much earlier than than us, but we were we were we were cautiously optimistic the last few months. Now I think we've safely entered some kind of uh, uh, bull market for at least tech stocks. Yeah, led yeah. by obviously Microsoft and Nvidia. Would say. Anything AI related, uh, really, uh, which at some point will uh, impact all businesses, all sectors, but mostly tech so far. We are in early innings. So, I mean, there's still It'll spread, though. Like the good thing about getting your mindset right, if this is a new bull market and hey, it was a pretty weak bear market, all in all. Um, which, which survived the fastest rate hikes. I mean, you think about what this market has digested. Uh, and again, I know it's, it's starting out in tech. I would assume it would spread. Um, but again, you know, it's just on price action, I assume if we're in a bull market, it's spread. There's no guarantee. Um, but, you know, the odds are that something good there's just not a lot of good stuff priced in, right? We've got crazy politics, we've got debt ceiling. These are all known knowns right now. Um, we all assume people are going to be terrible politicians. We assume rates are going to stay high. We, the inflation narrative is still going. Um, banks are, are blowing up, but yet the market's going higher. Um, so there's a lot of negativity, and yet why... And have the dollars actually rallying, which is supposedly not good for stocks. Yeah. So, what would happen if we got good news? Um, and therefore, I think a lot of bad news is priced it. I think the people that are struggling being bullish are like valuation. It's pretty much the only negative out there is valuation. But I just don't know how to tell. They're not as crazy as, as they were in tech. Few years ago, pretty much every SPAC's trading at ninety percent off. Like the, you know, anything without a business model is getting hammered. Um, this the IPO market still closed, so that probably is helping the big tech in that there's no new great companies going out, right? So supply is dwindled. Um, these are all reasons that we got a bull run. These are all the reasons we weren't super negative. Uh, now you can see that the trends of kind of um, resolved to the upside. Is that what you're seeing too, Ivan? Yeah, I mean, a lot of strong action in uh, tech stocks. And uh, now it's not only about the mega caps, you know, the Microsoft, NVIDIA, Amazon, Google, uh, Meta. Now we're seeing spreading it into other tech stocks like um, Adobe and um, all of the semiconductor companies. But Adobe now has an AI play, Broadcom. You have uh, AMD bouncing. You have uh, Amdocs, which is a huge company, company DOX. Um, very the, large the AI related strength is just really spreading into more tech names as of right now. But it also makes sense that the big names, they have the apps, they have the traffic. AI is going to make their products a little better, will allow them to run leaner. Um, Theoretically, so so a lot of this is 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 hype, but a lot of this is hype for a reason because as much as there is hype and a lot of companies won't be able to deliver, um, a lot of money is flowing into the fact that there will be some delivering. On but it's product. not only hype because no, it's uh, not only hype. There's no doubt. I mean, it companies works. like People love the the prompt is a very fun and cool way to search and to discover. So the companies, internet is getting yeah. bigger. The internet is getting bigger. Yeah, companies like Google and Meta, they can easily slash 50% of their workforce and not really feel it in terms of uh, productivity. 
uh, and efficiency with all everything that AI tools can afford people to do. So the market is really pricing that in that people that will remain working will be much more productive and companies will be much more profitable. Well, the other thing that things are working, I mean, the big companies at this time are much smarter. They're going to the government early and trying to get regulation that will cock block to, for use of a dirty word, but to basically put a wall around them to prevent smaller businesses. So you, So it's pretty evil, but it's a new tactic where what they've learned from Web2 is you know with open ai sam and mike they're going to the government early and with and you know the government ain't that bright and the government can be bought and right now the large cap techs are, are playing the uh, moat game and trying to play friendly with the government early in ai versus fighting them all the way in web two. so that benefits the large caps as well uh, the institutions see that and um <laughs> there's just all the moving, all the short-term and longer-term moving averages. Now, a lot of these tech stocks are moving up. So the dips, you know, the way, the, the way, the way the quants work, dips will get bought, you know, the programs will be buying the upward sloping moving averages. So the key is to look for this next wave of potential winners. Um, you know, yeah. even, I mean, even Shopify and e-commerce looks good to, looks potentially like yeah, it is early in Amazon has been super strong as well uh, lately. As I mean, it, at the beginning of bull market, it's kind of normal to see strength initially in the mega caps since they're liquid and it's a lot easier to get allocations to them. And if this bull market continues, we'll see that strength spreading into other smaller, faster moving, more volatile names. This is just a normal process. Uh, obviously, it will continue to climb a wall of worry. Interest rates are still high and rising. The one month treasury bill is yielding 6%, uh, which is like a multi decade uh, high. So the cost of money has risen, which obviously matters to some uh, sectors, usually to all stocks. But basically, will it really matter if rates start? coming down because that will open up the IPO market, which will increase supply. So it's it's just this bull market will not look like the last bull market, uh, at least in the early stages. Well, it does because the leaders, the old leaders seem to be working again, but it will look different because we're coming at this from rates that haven't been seen in 20 years. And, um, you know, a much different global walled off economy so it's it's going to look different but a bull market is a bull market and stocks tend to go up and more stocks tend to go up so the idea is to find the next batch of winners um, especially when the waters are a little more clear and markets are trending so um you know chasing nvidia here i'm not sure about it. like congrats to the people that that got that early um but it is hard to see how that's, you know, valuation aside, it's just, <clears throat> you know. But it is the go so to much, play, but yeah, you're, you're right. It's, it's very but There's extended. so much capital chasing so few leaders. Yeah, there is very little inventory uh, really in yep. AI. That's why money is kind of spreading into stocks that are kind of remotely related, but yeah. Like you cannot just put 100% of your money in NVIDIA. I mean, why not? But at this point, it's a little a little bit probably late for that to be that concentrated. So other stocks are starting to benefit. Uh, and that's why we saw those move in uh, Adobe and Oracle and all yeah. the other tech, na tech names that all the like cybersecurity names as well. Wow. And wow. some others that are like wow. smaller ones. Yeah. The no, there's... But yeah, it's mostly tech. Really, if you look at other sectors, twenty not billion really... dollar companies, symbiotics. So they do robotic systems. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, so warehouse management system. Uh, they said they use AI for that. So yeah, was, so did, was that a spec or it went public? It used to be a spec. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything that that is like ten dollars, like this, that used to be a spec. Yeah, but that's 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 a spec. That's just. So, but they say they're super concentrated. I think 95% of their business is Walmart. So obviously they're very dependent on them. 
Yeah, but 20 billion. God bless. So well done. So there yeah. is, there's, uh, you know. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's mostly tech. If you if you venture outside of tech, it's very few names that are really doing well. This is one of them. Uh, Elf Beauty, like cheaper discounted uh, makeup, doing really well, wow. like really a lot better than than Ulta, which is probably like the middle class. So your theory about the middle class, you know, brands getting trashed and like, to be in the middle. You got to be the high end and the and the yeah. deep, deep you got to cater to these degenerates, or you got to cater to the upper class. You know. The, the degenerate model is working. DraftKings continues to work. Yeah. GM, casinos continue to work. Um, and they're rolling it's over. Pulling back, yeah. rolling over. Yeah, it's, it's mostly tech right now. This bull market is, is about tech. tech. Yeah. So this, this bull is where, about AI. Uh, in, yeah, in, AI uh, and then tech in relation to, to it yeah. so far. Okay. It'll spread if we're going to go higher. It will. And uh, the key is um, figuring out these breakouts. Is there any other sector so good? Housing still strong? I mean, it's really fascinating. Housing is just consolidating uh, sideways. So obviously their margins uh, improved as lumber prices, commodity prices continue to fall. Mm -hmm. um, so their margins have been improving, improving. The market has been expecting that. That's why they've been making new 52-week highs since January uh, for the most part, many of them. Uh, but I would focus on uh, on tech. This is where the industry strength is. And obviously, I think with AI, as the market expects companies to become much more profitable, probably it will justify to have higher P ratio just because probably companies will need, will need fewer employees to deliver the same quality of service and products. So I think it might be justified. To yeah, I think it's uh, higher one, of other, one of the other mobilized worth keeping an eye on kind of crashed, but has quickly bounced back near all time highs. Which one? Uh, oh, mobile. Yeah, um, mobile I, MBLY. MBLY. Yeah, I mean, quite a few companies that really got trashed on earnings. Yeah, the ones that recovered. Quickly, and like I was looking at Cloudflare and I almost. This gave one as well, uh, Arista Network and Net, like. All of them really have completely recovered. Yeah. And the same with I uh, those are huge gaps to recover down. Yeah. yeah. The super micro man. Congrats to those people. It's just uh and then Marvel broke out. Yep, definitely. I mean everyone has been waiting for Nvidia, you know, to kind of pull back and then they had like the biggest 30%. Yes, yeah, so and everybody's kind of playing sons of Nvidia. So, so they're just be, yeah, be looking careful. for alternatives, really. Uh yeah, it's fun when it's like this. And so people are taking risks. Um, the people that are still in that negative mindset because they, they stay positive for too long are just going to get run over. Yeah. There's so much capital. Just don't fight yeah. the trend. I felt Tesla, Tesla yeah. looked so heavy three weeks ago and then boom. Not anymore. Uh, not anymore. Now, and, and as much yeah. as I'm not a Tesla fan, you're not going to short this stock when, when you just sign the Ford deal. All the competing EV cars, not great reviews. And Tesla has just such a huge lead. Um, and they're survived. Like in the end, surviving is not dying. And now technically, um, it's it's coiled with huge volume on this Ford News. And what looked like a sure thing to go much lower and retest the lows is... No, it's kind of digesting, so I wouldn't be digesting. surprised if it bounced from this 15 Very hard. Again, average. You know, there's a lot of negative news out there um, that everybody knows about. And um, so I'm glad I didn't stay negative. I, it's very hard for people to switch, you know, because of valuation, the fact that we haven't really, you know, the S&P never really got down to low threes. People were, were wanting it to drop another 20%. So as with the IPO market closed and supply pretty contained, you know, the bad companies really went away quickly. Um, the Apple chart, thank goodness. Thank goodness it's my largest position, but. But even Warren Buffett does it is for most of Americans. It's yeah. not like I'm a genius. Most Americans only SPY. So most Americans, it is their largest position. 
I mean, that's good news because Apple is yeah. up what like I was going to say only five times three, like 500 times uh, in 20 years. Yeah. More than that. So yeah. even Warren Buffett doesn't invest based on valuation anymore. He, he invested in Apple, you know, very high valuation. So you need to adjust to the new reality of the market. Yeah. It'd be interesting if Buffett comes for semiconductors or AI, if, if this leads to more tech for him. Uh, this correction in financials leads to him taking a little more risk on the uh, on the curve in tech. Because there's um, still a lot of money on the sidelines, so that is where oh, yeah, get, yeah, put to work. There's still so much scared money, and the hedge funds are short. And you know, I'm in an age where I was going to write about where I'm I, I used you know 70 to 100 percent long down to low of 30. I'm probably going to be between 30 and 70 percent in this new age that I'm at. So, this is you know, interesting, for, like companies like Starbucks and um, Nike. Just, getting uh, pulling back recently yeah. well they're stuck in the middle remember and they're expensive yeah. products for what they are right so they're great companies but they're just so big and kind of overpriced to be selling to the middle they're not so it's just hard to keep doing their numbers remember consumers still stretched and interest rates are high so it's not going to be a bull market like you're used to if we yeah. continue to go it up. might be concentrated into certain Maybe areas shrinking the world is not as open as it was and consumers look again like the key thing to remember is not that it's okay to be bullish but it's also okay to understand the constraints of this bull market people are tapped um not the rich and debt you know but the uh, debt is screaming higher. You know, people credit card debt, etc. So it could be a lot of fits and starts. You know, to the people that 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 got on the AI train, that, that was a tough trade, right? When let's give them credit, the people that could could buy these things and down into the into the crash uh, were rewarded. They took a lot of risk and they were rewarded. I, I don't. I doubt. The people that were buying those dips, speculating down 40%, held it fundamentally through this high. But the people that came in on the two, the twos on the way up in NVIDIA, the, the guys who saw this coming, hats off. That, that's, you know, you have to have a little bit of, uh, you have to have a nice risk reward. You're getting paid nicely. It's not going to be that easy uh, for the rest of these. <laughs> um, that's it. So enjoy Bulgaria. Where's, where's next? Uh, I'll go to Greece uh, in a, in a few weeks. Yeah. Very nice. So that's about it. And after that, I'm coming back uh, to San Diego. Our beaches are closed. Yeah, right. No, dude, Coronado's closed for uh, uh, the, all the... All the uh, been closed for a while from all the sewage from Tijuana. Oh, okay. I mostly yeah. play beach volleyball, so that's fine. I don't, I don't surf really. <laughs> You know, there's been a lot of people with like strange diseases that are playing beach. Oh, volleyball. interesting. Interesting. No, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. Have a safe trip. See you next week. Okay. Bye.